Now this one is on the mini pumps. These are oil furnace mini pumps. Uh, and they have a little solenoid right here, which is a cutoff solenoid. There's your drive shaft for your pump. And uh, gun line comes out of here going to the gun burner. And it has this little solenoid here. Now a solenoid is a valve. And uh, this is built into this pump. Now this pump is, uh, says it's made by Beckett, but it really isn't. It's actually made by SunTech or SunStrand, it used to be SunStrand. And uh, they call it the clean cut because it's got this thing built in that does not allow the oil to pass to the burner until you get up to the set pressure. Uh, so there's a time delay built into it. Uh, the idea there being that if you... Uh, wait until the pump gets up to pressure that means the motor has to speed up and drive the shaft and and get it up to pressure you will spray more effectively because you'll be spraying with a higher pressure fuel these fuels must be at least 100 pounds many are much above that up to uh, commonly 140 150 pounds so they only want the high pressure oil to go to the gun because it sprays better and it shuts off immediately rather than as it slows down just reducing the pressure and when it reduces if it reduces the pressure then that means it sprays very ineffectively and actually just kind of pees out the front so they put this solenoid in here and they've been around for quite a while they're nothing new and uh, it's electrically actuated, it's 120 volts, and it is actuated by, in most cases, the uh, primary control, which is a CAD cell relay. Now, if you've got an R7184, one of that series, CAD cell control, it has a separate wire for this solenoid and it'll delay it. It can delay it as little as zero and I think the most it does is about 15 or 20 seconds. But it's going to delay it starting. So you hear it come on, it'll run but you won't hear the fire and finally that'll make and you'll uh, you'll get fire. Now, diagnosis of problems with this thing. If it does not energize then obviously no oil is going to pass through. So, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, this is the uh, power unit for it. And it's simply a uh, wire wound solenoid that when uh, power goes through this, it creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field pulls on this uh, shaft. It does not actually lift this shaft. There's a little... Uh, piece inside there made of steel that the magnet acts on but it's all inside and we're going to take that apart there's not a whole lot to it but uh, what it's supposed to do is delay the uh, the startup until we get the pressure up uh, they used to do this uh, they used to have a separate solenoid and it wasn't in the pump. But these are all put in a pump. Now this here, you can see this uh, silly little thing here. Inside there, you can kind of see that little cage. Uh, and that is, uh, that's where the actual uh, plunger is that moves this thing open. Okay, see that little hole right there? Then it passes through and goes down to that center and when it's energized it allows it to pass through to that small o-ring and that is the solenoid now problems with the solenoid could simply be it could fail itself and I'll show you how we test for that okay you can see now here's our solenoid got three terminals in there. This one at the bottom here is just a ground, so we're going to ignore it. If I want to find out if this thing's good, I take one probe there 
and one probe here and you can see we're reading 440 ohms which is probably about right so if you're testing this thing that's a way to test it uh, you also can listen close to it and hear perhaps it move it's kind of hard to tell but uh, I would check check this with an ohmmeter then I would take the plug that goes into it I would put do the same test with my and I don't have the plug here right now uh, the same test with it with power to the burner then I should get voltage through this you put it in AC volts and plug into it and you should have a delay of 10 to 20 seconds and you should see 120 volts through it. If you don't see 120 volts through it you're going to have to go back to primary control because primary control may be at fault at that point and it's not the solenoid. The solenoid does not give a lot of trouble. I don't see these things fail a whole lot. So check to make sure you got power to it when you should and uh, check your uh, ohms on it to see if you do actually have continuity through the coil. Uh, that's about it. Uh, if it doesn't pull in, if it's jammed for some reason, you may be able to tell by looking this over. Uh, you can put a magnet next to it and it will actually move back and forth with the magnet. And so that's a useful way to test it. Uh, you could even uh, have it assembled and put a magnet next to it and sometimes that will energize them and uh, let them pass the oil through. But anyway, that is the little solenoid that you'll see on these uh, newer pumps. Uh, virtually all of them are on these uh, mini pumps like this one. And that's it for the solenoid on the oil burner. Okay, this is the R7184 uh, Honeywell CAD cell uh, relay. It's a flame safety control for oil furnaces and it controls uh, the burner motor, igniter, is fed information by the CAD cell to see if there is flame and it has a solenoid valve hooked into it and it provides the timing for the solenoid valve. Now the solenoid valve is uh, a time delay valve, so it's going to delay until the burner gets up to speed, probably about 15 seconds, before it will allow oil to come out of the pump and into the uh, gun. So this control pretty much takes care of all that stuff. There's a wiring diagram on it. And... Uh, all the wiring in the bottom that corresponds with the uh, terminals that are shown on the top. So this will have one for the igniter, one for the burner motor, one for the valve, and so on. Does not have to use all these things. So that is the uh, R78184 uh, control and it is used, uh, it's on a lot of burners now, this is a fairly new control and it, it does have the lockout so that it can only be reset once if you look here you'll see some instructions on the diagnostic light that's uh, on the left and uh, on means the flame is working, off means no flame, flashing two seconds on means you have pressed the reset and it's going to try again and then if it's half a second on it equals lockout and it will only allow you to reset it once and then you will have to uh, press that red button over there in the left uh, for 45 seconds before it will uh, come out of the lockout and that is the uh, R7184